All right, let's do this again. The easy way to do it is just follow one of these. That gets you through. Okay. Now let's go on with the rest of the uh, action. This one's gimmick is when you jump, the platform stops. This can make the jumps actually easier. Again, the hard part is go going and grabbing the treasure chest. Uh, just time your jumps well. If you're just going for the door, it's honestly not that bad. Ten tries. You are playing Donkey Kong. <laughs> That's basically what you're doing. But no hammers for you. Ah, got hit by that one. I never was very good at Donkey Kong. <laughs> Reach the end, touch the uh, chained Kong, <laughs> and that's that. From this one, you get uh, the super slap. Now, the super slap is not as strong as Princess's frying pan, so you do get a weapon, and you may think, "Oh, that's the that's Princess Peach's ultimate weapon," but it's not. So don't be fooled. The Princess's mega slap. So there's that. So you do get a weapon, but it's not an ultimate weapon. It, the game just makes you think it is. Uh, which one was the... Yeah, okay. Let's do the quiz again. And it's quiz time. Need an explanation? Forget it, I already know. Full name of the boss at the second ship. It's uh, Jonathan Jones. It's Johnny, but Johnny's just the nickname. What was Toadstool doing when she was kidnapped by Bowser? Now, you know this from the cutscene at the very beginning of the game. You remember? She was looking at flowers. What color is the end of Dodo's beak? Now, you see, th these are the type of questions that can get you. I believe it's red. Okay. What does the red essence do? Makes you sleepy, gives you strength, gives you strength. Uh, technically, what it does is makes you involve for three turns. Remember, we have one red essence. I've not used it. What did Carabosis turn into? Uh, carrot a bead radish. Uh, carrot. Get the whole caro at the beginning. The man getting his picture taken at Mary Moore hates what? Now, you only know this if you... Getting his picture taken. If you talk with NPCs. The game can ask you some really obscure things. I actually really like this part of the puzzle. It, uh... I like the whole quiz thing. Who helped you up the cliff at Land's Inn? Sky Troopers, Flying Troopers, Sky... Troopas. Troopas, not troops. First one's troops. What is Hynapo in charge of at the middle counter? Now, first you have to remember who Hynapo is. If you don't remember, he is the guy that ran the shop in Barrel Volcano. Two, remember he had three things he did. What did he do at the middle one? You have to remember. And weapons or items, which are all what he did. But the N is the one at the middle. Well done! Guess that was just a warm-up for you, huh? Complete it, and he lets you go through. Now this is where I fail. Heh. <laughs> Let's see how well you can count. Give you ten seconds. Ten. Tell me the number of barrels in the room. Now. There is a way to help you do this. Because you obviously can't see every barrel. Now, let's see if we can count these barrels. There's eight in the middle. How do you know there's eight in the middle? Well, as you can see, they're stacked up by two. And then go two across. So you know it's two, four, six, eight. Then you just count the outliers. You count the one up top, that's nine. The one to the left, that's ten. And then the two at the bottom... 11, 12. So there's 12. Now, this is not so easy, however, because Dr. Topper is going to try to trick you. Heh. <laughs> close your eyes for a second. So, close. Ready? Go. Now, we know there's uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
12 in the middle, then the 2 up top, and then 1. So there's 15. Correct! Heh, <laughs> but this is just a warm-up. Next! Now he's gonna add more barrels to really make your brain hurt. <laughs> but again, just remember the premise. Count the ones that are stacked together. So like all the ones in the middle. You know each... Each... I don't know, column you could say is four. So four, eight, sixteen. There's three columns and two wide. Hope this is making sense. How, how I'm trying to do it. You can just count the barrels any way you want, but I always found this way to be super helpful. Then you just count the ones that are left. The two up top and the one in, on the left. Now I said this is just a warm-up. He's going to throw more barrels at you. Now we'll see if you can really count. You got 20 seconds. Ready? So now you have a whole bunch of barrels. There's five up top. And then there's 6, 11, 15, uh, 15, then 6 is 21, 27, 33, 33, 44? Nope, wrong. Dang it. Did the math wrong. 33 and then... Must have missed a barrel. And see, that one's really hard. It's really tough for me count all the barrels but you have a 33% chance of being right no matter what <laughs> now forget it I already know my assigned little brother how many legs does Wiggler have uh eight no darn turn to a carrot I think it's ten what's the password in the second ship it's pearls what color is the end of Dodo's beak it's red the boy at the end of Mushroom Kingdom was playing with the Game Boy. Uh, what color are the curtains in Mario's house? I think they're green? Nope, I failed. If you, I think you can, you have to get eight of these right, but I think you can miss only two, maybe not, maybe if I get the rest right. What is Rainy's husband name? Raz, you know that if you've been talking to them. Chef's name at Marymore. Uh, Tulsa doing when she was kidnapped by Bowser, she was looking at flowers. Where was the first star piece found? It was found in the Mushroom Kingdom. Remember, we beat Mac. What technique does Bowser learn at level 15? Yeah, it gets really specific. Uh, I think that's when he learned Crusher. Yeah. See, it's still not enough. You, you really can't miss questions. Yes, it's the quiz master. It's quiz time. Uh, I'm going to cut this out. One sec. Alright, let's count the barrels again. Four, eight, ten, so twelve. Eight. Yeah, twelve. Twelve barrels, this is just a warm-up. <laughs> Obviously, this is just the warm-up. Twenty seconds go. Five. Yeah, okay. Whew! <laughs> Piece of cake, huh? No, no it's not. I really don't like that one. Now for something completely different. Boo Goo Bones and Kip competed in a triathlon. The triathlon included swimming, 
cycling, and a marathon. It's up to you to guess which place each person came in. Listen well, you're only gonna hear the story once. Now that's the key. So, grab a notepad, grab a, you know, a pen, grab whatever you, uh, whatever you want to, you know, whatever you want to grab to help you with this. And, just be ready to hear the story because like you said you're only going to get to hear it once this is the that's the deal so you get you have as much time as you need so don't worry about being timed even though you hear the timer all you have to do is go up to each person and hear their story so make sure you note who who's doing what now this is also random Who's going to tell what side of the story? But once you know what to listen for, it's not that not that big of a deal. So just be uh, just be be ready. Okay, here we go. I outrode Goo on my bike, and Goo was never able to pass me. So Boo outrode Goo. And Goo never passed him. Okay? Goo. I fell into fourth place during the bike race, but finally ended up in the same place as I did in the swimming event. So Goo was in fourth in the bike race. But then ended up in the same place he did at a swimming event. As in swimming event. Okay. Bones. I came in third for swimming. Third and swimming. Okay, that's all you're going to get out of him. Kip, I place the same in the swimming and cycling events. So Kip was the same in swimming and cycling. But two others... Beat me in the marathon. Okay. Well, I'm still working on it. Now you can go back and listen, but once you've once you've uh once you talked to said, ha, I'm the master. He's gonna tell you to start talking to people. So you're gonna have to so you're going to have to do it. So, uh, well, this video is going to go on long. I could have just had this be a whole episode. Huh. Might just do that. <laughs> have it be a, its own, uh, its own side, its own side thing. So, I'll give you a few seconds. You can always just pause the video, but I'll, I'll give you a few seconds to see if you can figure it out. See if I can remember how this goes. <laughs> Boo how road goo and you never passed me. Finish fourth in the bus race. That's a third in swimming. Um let's see. So you two were the same as swimming. Hmm. In the swimming and cycling events. So you were so Boo was at least third. Now Kip was the same in the swimming and cycling events. Two others beat him in the marathon. 
came in third for swimming, which all bones gives you. Fourth place during the bike race. Finally ended up in the same place. As I did in the swimming event. Go on my bike and go was never to pass, pass me, okay? I think you're first, because you just said, you know, I outrode Goo, and Goo was never able to pass me. So I think that makes you first. No, nobody passed you. You finished fourth in the bike race. You were fourth during the bike race. It's better to put it that way. Then you finished as the same place as the swimming event. We know you were third. You were the same in the cycling and swimming event, but then two others beat you in the marathon. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna work this out in my head instead of <laughs> having you sit here and wait for me. Hold on just a sec. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> Let's start with what we know the most information about, which is actually the swimming event. Now, we know Bones came in third. I came in third for swimming. Okay. Now, we know Goo finished fourth in the bike race, but he says he finished in the same place as in the swimming event, which means he couldn't have finished fourth. So, somebody, somebody else did. Kip says he finished in the same and the swimming and cycling event, but two others beat him during the marathon. Wait a minute. I didn't say that right. You finished third. You say two others beat you in, in the marathon. I had this all worked out in my head, and then I start, <laughs> and then I start trying to explain it. <laughs> Now I'm not saying it right. When I when I'm placed the same in the swimming and cycling events, two others beat me in the marathon. What I'm trying to get at is Goo finished second. Finally ended up in the same place that I did in the swimming event. That he finished second in the swimming event. And he finished fourth. Same in the swimming and cycling events, but two others beat me in the marathon. That Kit finished fourth in... That Kit finished fourth in the swimming. Now that means... Goo finished second. I outrode Goo on my bike, and Goo was never able to pass me. So that puts Boo first, Goo second, you third, because only two people beat you, and which leaves you fourth, because the only thing you're talking about is swimming, and you're just ashamed of everything else. No, I don't know if that's the case, but everything else makes sense in my mind. I probably did a super poor job of explaining that, and I apologize. It makes sense in my head, <laughs> and if I didn't didn't explain it right, then that's my fault. What we'll see if I got it right. Call me the master. Okay, go and talk. Go and talk to them in the order they came in and return here. So you came in first. I came in number one, right? Yeah, because nobody was able to beat you. You came in second. You fell behind. And then you caught back up. You came in third because only two people beat you. And you came in fourth. So Boo, Goo, Kip, and then Bones. Now each one can say different things when you play, but I think that's the order they're supposed to come in. The person who outrode on the bike and then nobody passed him is, is first. Then the person who fell behind but then caught back up is second. The person who had just two others beat him, well, that makes him third. And then the person that just said, I came in third for swimming, isn't really giving all that information. They're fourth. Yeah. All right, good. That's right. <laughs> Again, 
it made sense in my head but that may not be right for that you get a rock candy so there you go now I'm actually just gonna make this an episode since that took longer than I thought so hold on and let me load up the uh, the other save file and we're back this is Smithy's castle no trespassers allowed And then you get a boss fight with Magic Koopa. Oh, sorry, but you gotta get out of our way. One fifty-one, and eh, works with as well as I want. Let's see our new drill claw. Slash, and then just you know, a straight stab, and then drill. I really like that. I always like the way that that looks. Blast! Which will do a lot of damage. He's a... He's your typical spellcaster. Treat him as such. Very high damaging attack. Well, your typical, you know, offensive spellcaster. Very high damage. Very low physical defense. <laughs> Magic Koopa's hiding! Oh, I timed that wrong. Now, Magic Koopa will summon monsters to, well, take hits for. Him. Because he's a smart spellcaster. <laughs> I'm swinging too fast. On the, I'm pressing the button too fast for Bowser. There's more of a delay than you think. Iron Maiden. <laughs> Not really what I needed to see. Defeat the uh, monster and then go back to swinging at magic. Do enough damage and that's that. Tiny XP 10 coins. Magic Koopa! Huh? Where am I? Bowser, hello! How have you been? I, uh, made it back here somehow. Seems like I've been brainwashed or something. I can't seem to remember anything. Have I done something wrong? Uh, don't worry about it. Let's just put it behind us. Great running into a loyal Koopa Troopa like you. I'm glad. Looks like you got some tough new Troopas now. But my magic can still help you. Like so. Watch this. Ho kalaku pua. This magic treasure box will never run out of coins. Just keep on hitting it. Thanks, Magic Koopa. I'll be here if you need me. Come by whenever you need to rejuvenate your HP and magic. So, yeah, Magic Koopa's really cool. This box will never run out of coins. But you only get one coin per jump, so it could be kind of annoying to get to max coins, but it's there. <laughs> Very handy. Here you have Crocker. You still hanging around? Oh, you want more items, huh? Since I'm in a good mood. Just remember, can't always be coming to your rescue, you know. There's anything more you need, best to buy it now. Hint, hint. Buy it now. And what do you want to buy? You want to buy this. You have the hero shirt, prince pants, star cape, heel shell, and royal dress. Legendary shirt, legendary pants, legendary cape, legendary shell, legendary dress. Buy those, they're the ultimate armors per se for every character. Uh, we're excluding the lazy shell when we say that because of course the lazy shell gives you the most defense. But just in general, these are your ultimate armors for each character. Prince Pants and Star Cape. I like how each one kind of goes with their with their respective person. Star Cape because he's from Star Road. Prince Pants because he's a prince. The heel shell may not make sense for Bowser, but I'll explain it here in a little bit. Royal dress for our fair princess. 
and of course our hero shirt for our hero Mario. How often does Bowser come back after getting his butt kicked by Mario? Like, how many times has he done that? Like, think about it. <laughs> of, he got some healing magic somewhere. Gotta be the shell. That's my explanation. Again, it makes sense to me. <laughs> so there you go. We'll go ahead and, uh... Ah, well, well. See ya! Bye, Croco. Now you can just keep on jumping and get all of your coins back. Really, you can do this. It's, uh, easy. It really is. Just keep jumping. Look, we're already at 537. Yes, that means I've only got like 40-something coins out of it. So you can continue to do this. If you really want to. Or you can sell items. Or you can go into Kiro Sewer and get more, you know, get more, uh, Cure Waters and sell them. Kind of a faster way to do it. If this treasure chest gave 10 coins per hit, it'd be a lot better. It really would be. But the fact that it just gives one, you could be sitting here forever rambling to your audience while you try to get coins. So I'm going to stop doing that. <laughs> Continue on. And you see, you can get hit. It doesn't do anything, though. See? You just get hit. Now, the thing that can get you, however, is these... Excuse me. These... Golden bullets that are flying across. Defense up. So... Yeah, then you have to get into a fight. Again, I think that's damage you just have to soak. I've never been really good at, at uh, timing Bowser's Drill Claw. Darn it, I'm trying not to get... Where is our enraptured? Go ahead and run. Please run. Go ahead and run. Get Psych Bombed then. Huh, I didn't do as much to the fork as I thought it was going to. Oh well. Aha! Missed! Again, we'll get rid of the thing that can insta-kill. He fits up. And the forky will die pretty quick. Storm. There we go. Well, we'll just move on and then I'll show. Oh, I kind of jumped into that one. <laughs> you can jump over the bullets, of course. The key being, uh... Not being stunned by the thwomp hitting the ground. Which does happen. And you kind of reach the end and they stop. As you can see, there is a... Kind of a bridge up here. You can ride the thwomp. But then you have the bullets to deal with again. But there is stuff up here. There is a thing up here, not stuff. There is a thing up here. Bye. Again, I need to guard with Princess. <laughs> that way the Forky doesn't get a free hit. Ah. Take your own advice, Central. <laughs> okay. Let me heal real quick. Oh. go and you just make these jumps ah but try not to fall off wow. 
Now you can't ride on these two, which is what I was trying to show off. Oh, I thought there was a hidden treasure chest there. Well, it's just another path you can take then. Thanks, Swamp. I swear there was a hidden treasure chest here. Ah, all of the thwomps are making it hard to... Huh. Guess maybe I'm mistaken. Could put on the signal ring, but we're just gonna move on. There might be a hidden treasure chest up there. <laughs> Hi. Ah. So you are the notorious Mario. I'm impressed you made it this far. I didn't think you could. Let's go! This should be reminiscent. Oh, feisty little fellow, aren't you? But this is the end of the line, and now you see there's shy guys holding on to it? <laughs> now you've got to deal with me! Unga! This is Boomer. Boomer has a trick. I see he really didn't take much from that. Or that. But why don't we psych bomb? As the game freaks out. There we go. 202. The trick out. The trick is that Boomer is weak to different things depending on the stage of the fight. As you can see, 381. Now, Bowser really doesn't have a good one, but we're gonna crush her. 142, see? More damage. Uh, what we're gonna do with Princess, though, is therapy. Mario can do a ton of damage. Blizzard! Not really that much damage. Four forty four Shaker. Now that'll knock you down to one HP. I think it ends the kills if you don't block, but you can block it. Now, because Bowser really isn't that great at spells anyway, you might just want to swing. And then he'll turn blue. He'll kind of change his stance, I guess you could say. This will cause him to be weaker to physical attacks. So go ahead and start swinging. Boomer is really not that hard of a fight once you get the whole gimmick down. Ah, this is absurd. I can't be defeated by them. I won't let this happen. I won't fall in battle. <coughs> Having an attack. <coughs> hey, Boomer. You okay? I don't need your sympathy. I am a soldier. I am prepared to go. Take a jive, Chandler Ho! Youch! See you later, kids! Boomer! Oh, poor Boomer. But not to worry. Little Fall isn't gonna hurt you. Alright, Mario. I'll lead you to the top. We must hurry to the appointed place. Oh, here we go! Hang on tight, and away we go! Increasing speed! Next stop, top floor. 
Please fasten your seatbelts and- Wait, what seatbelts? Wait a sec. There are no seatbelts. Ah! And you get your EXP and coins. Hey, sword, what's up? The eye is protecting Exor. That's right, you get thrown immediately into another fight. Don't worry, your flowers and health are restored. Exor is the main... The, the main boss of this. However, as it said, the eyes are protecting Exor. You have four different targets in this battle. You have the actual skull, which is what you need to kill. You have Neo Squid, which is the mouth. You have the right eye and the left eye. Every single thing gets to swing. If you knock something out, it'll be gone for a few turns. Let's get started. And I'll show you why you need to, uh, why you need to get rid of the eyes. Or it may just be one eye. Quite good. Exor's protection is gone. Yeah, once you knock out an eye, that's that. Aurora Flash. Now, this may be the good, the reason you want to get rid of the other, uh, of the other things, such as the Neo Squid. Because it can do a lot of damage. Let's, uh, group up. Venom Drool. Flame Wall. Now, Aurora Flash can put, uh, characters to sleep, which is a problem. Now, once the protection is gone, you can hit the actual skull and actually do damage, as you see. Now, we're going to have Princess continue to Psych Bomb, that way we can hit other things. Gunk Ball. Now, you see, once you knock something out, though, it stops attacking. If you're taking too much damage in this fight, that could be a course of action. You really have to. You can either A, attack the other thieves to try to stop them from hitting you for a few turns, or B, you can just aim for Exor and try to stop the battle as quick, in the battle as quickly as possible. Both are good choices. If you have a character that's strong at hitting multiple targets, there's Corona. Which does a lot of damage. And the eye is protecting X. Again. So we need to not get back. Then this battle will go quite a bit easier. Uh, Gino, Mallow are good at hitting a lot of targets. Diamond Saw. Right? It's good to have Princess, though, for heal duty. It just all depends on how you want to take this fight. Exos Protection is gone. Now, I don't quite remember how much HP Exor has, but it is a fairly good amount. Static heat. Not too bad. Alright. And we'll use Cyclone. There we go. Exor's protection is gone. As you can see, they do have more HP, but you can knock out the Neo Squid, which is the mouth, and you can knock out the other eye. At that point, Exor is completely defenseless. Sweet with everything you got. And as you see, he'll take uh, some more damage. I think he takes a little bit more if both eyes are gone, but... All I need to do is knock out one, and then you can start swinging. Or maybe I've just been really bad at timing this battle. <laughs> That's more possible. If you do enough damage, that's that. Ah! Ah! 
Do you know where this leads to? It looks like Exor's the contact between the two worlds. In other words... If we follow this road, we'll find Smithy. So, what's keeping us? Hang on! Hey, I only joined so I can get my castle back. I'm not going to be dragged along on this stupid hunt. This is as far as I go. I'm going to gather my troops and rebuild my castle. And you, Mario! You're an official member of the Koopa Troop. It's your duty to help with the repairs. <laughs> Bowser, you're completely missing the point. But I ought to rip your stuffing out. No, think about it, Bowser. This sword connects the two worlds, right? Yeah, so? Even if we defeat Exor, there will be other weapon beasts to follow him. Your castle is at the entry po entrance point to your world. In short, they'll be back. Is that what you want? Uh, well. Uh, well. More weapon things coming to take over my castle? What about my privacy? Yikes, this isn't good at all. In fact, it stinks. I can't just be pals with these cretins. I got an image to keep up. Well, I got it. No one insults the Koopa Troop and gets away with it. I got a bone to pick with the smithy guy. Come on, Mario. We'll teach him a lesson. I'm so sly. <laughs> Looks like we're together on this one. Let's go. And this is the final... Final hurrah, you could say. You can go back at any time. The gate, this is your last chance to do things. Take advantage of it. Once you start heading down the path to the gate, there really is no going back. So I'm going to end this episode here. It's going to be still, still quite a bit long, but... Uh, do we have... Yeah, full HP and FP. Good. But really hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun. I'm glad I could show off the uh, other two gates there. What we're going to do next time is get some side questy stuff out of the way. We're going to tackle Jinx again. Give that another shot. See how it goes. We're also going to try uh, Clue X. But for that fight, I'll probably have to use the... Uh, the lazy shell strategy to to beat him and trust me it will work it may just be lengthy the fight <laughs> um but i'll show that off that way i can show off the items you get uh they're they're really good especially the one from kulex and wrap up any other side questy things i can think of like, these two are really the ones i need to do and not much not much else but uh, those two for sure. And then anything else I can think of. So, thank you very much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. This is the home stretch. We're almost done with Super Mario RPG. Till the next episode, I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.